hello wonderful people welcome to another video today we're going to go over to the next item we have here we move down to bidding and uh, enable bidding we enable bidding on your site give bidding option to users of course then bidding timer do you want a bidding timer such as this look at this this particular ad has bidding and that's why there's a timer here so you can enable the bidding timer if you want and the top bidders limit uh, what's the limit you want to give to top bidders then the section title you can bid in then email and auto on a bid you can turn that on and off then this section title it should be anything you want in this case is bid then the claimer note whatever you want to say about the bidding so i think uh, it would be good if i actually um open a particular ad like this so we get to see how the bidding is displayed and we are here here is the timer and um here is bid section for you to bid you simply put in amount here and make your comments and after that you say send updated successfully then that bid is expected to appear here this shows total bid the highest and the lowest and the top bidders this is where you can see them so this is actually how bidding system works you can decide to remove bidding on a particular ad because you actually choose whether to add bidding or not when you're creating an ad so you can decide to exclude bidding on any particular ad with that we've come to the end of this section but before then this disclaimer you see here is expected to appear below the bid as you can see here so we'll move on to the next one which is a breadcrumb i always advise you go with the modern because in most cases the classic is not uh, being uh, updated so all you do here is uh, upload an image you want um, as your breadcrumb this is not too important so we move ahead to the next one which is map here you have the option to choose what kind of map you want but for me google map should be um, something that everyone should uh, go with unless if you know how to work your way around any other kind of map so from there we we'll move to shop and here shop is turned off it means that nothing about shop can display here so if i want to customize uh, my my url and add a shop and say enter you can see the shop has been uh, redirected to packages so shop doesn't exist right now so we need to turn that on and here is our shop so when we click on save and we go back here we can now have our shop and uh, it's going to display for us to see as you can see we have a uh, 14 items in the shop but out of the 14 i think 12 is being displayed on a page 12 items is displayed out of 14 so what is responsible for that this is it number of products now another thing is a shop style here we have layout one and that is what you see here 
kind of have uh, sales towards the top left of the image and they uh, had to cut somewhere below that image but when we switch over to layout 2 and save changes then you got to reload the sales goes towards the uh, um, corner of the image and the auto cut is no longer where it used to be so that is the second one and layer three let's see what we have there so we come back here and reload again and for for the last one you can see view product view product view product and I think that is the only difference between this and the second so we move on to the next one of course the category page title the shop you can change it to whatever you want then the shop single page title is details and um turn on related product is off let's put that on and the title of the related product and how many related product we have let's make it uh, three and say save changes so let's go over here and see open a particular product in the shop so the first thing we can see here is a related post which is three and the details you see here is what you see here and related product title and number of related product three as we seen from this place so that's pretty much what we can do in this uh, under this uh, uh, shop then we we'll move over to blog I think uh, blog is um straightforward here is my blog you can see we have a kind of uh, image at the top blog title and post uh, post content and arrange in two columns with the sidebar to the right yeah and that's why we have the sidebar to the right and uh, you can move that sidebar to the left or you can remove it entirely so depends on what you want you can change this as a page title then single post title replace with this now you can enable share by putting this on but before I say save changes when you open a particular post for example a blog the title says here blog details and that's where we see this blog details now enable share we have the share button here just one here but if we save as in when you put this off this save button remains here so when you put it on and hit on save changes and reload this page you're gonna have another share button somewhere here you see that I don't know why they did it like this but if you think but doesn't give you what you want you can simply switch one off and leave the other one so that's that about the blog settings now from here downwards is something um i think uh, i don't need to go into this part so we're done with the blog settings the next is gonna be the apis now what we do here is this 
I don't want to go into all this. So what you can do is to get the keys for each of these. You need to find, you need to click on how to find it. For example, in Google Recapture API. When you open that, you follow the instructions and uh, you will get to know how to find out. The same thing for all this. So coming soon. This shows this shows uh, is is off. So when you put it up, you put that on. Then uh, let me quickly show you what they're talking about here. So you put uh, coming soon. But I need to save these changes. Okay. So now coming soon. I open. And this will have this logo you see here is this one you upload here. And um set the time that is when your site is gonna be back up. If for example your, um, your site is going to be back in August 28. You leave it like this. And the description, you put something like this. But something is turned off, which is notify section. Now, if you check this, our site is under construction. That is the message you see here. Then, this time here is when the site is going to come back on. But we need to enable something here. Notification, sorry, notify section. And uh, you put your MailChimp ID here. You can click here to find out how to get the ID here. So by the time you say save changes and then reload here you're gonna see a place where you're gonna um, put your email and uh, click on notify me and uh, when the site is uh, eventually back on you will get an email notification and also these are the social medias you can configure this when you put your links, your social media links in these boxes. This you can adjust whichever comes first, you can rearrange, you can take this Facebook down to anywhere you want that to be. And that is pretty much what we do here. And another place, social media, this is where you just fix in every uh, account you have you can do that here finally footer settings this is um, a lot much you can do here as you can see so let's see what we can do the first is to choose um, a footer style. Here we have one to nine. So what you do is basically you select each of these. Like I can select eight for example. And then um, as I do that, some of the options are gone. If I choose two, I have more options. So let's take three for example and hit save changes. Okay, the footer active here is actually footer two. 
but we'll just switch to three so we need to reload to see what three looks like so this is what this filter looks like and uh, what you have here can be found um can be found here um what you do is um these um hot links and uh, this uh, text you see here is what you see here and here is a hot links so what you basically do is um you find a footer that you, is convenient for you to work with select it and uh, edit that to your taste and you have a fine looking footer on your ad forest uh, site all right i don't know if i have uh, actually done justice to this but um this is where i'll be stopping for these team options in ad forest team if you have any questions so far based on what we have covered starting from the general to this uh, uh, place kindly contact me and I will see what I can do about that meanwhile I wish you success in your online endeavor and uh, have a very nice day